pay out. Well, we're back home. Uh, got back from LBL last night. Had an awesome weekend. It was really good. It's a new date for LBL. And uh, the dates hit on with a rut. We started seeing a lot of rut action on the last day, but got home, got unpacked, clothes washed, and uh, I'm off all week. So it's Thanksgiving week. I decided to come to an area that all of you know pretty well by now if you follow my life. It's my new set I set this year called the Cody set. It's where I killed that Cody out of. But what it is, it's overlooking this great big deep ravine and goes back up. And in the past, there's a stand behind me way back over the ridge that I hunted. You can crest this hill and I can see deer chasing back in here during the rut. So uh, I got Sarah, she's off today. She's over on the other ridge. She's carrying a muzzleloader. She loves her muzzleloader, even though it's rifle season. But uh, we're gonna settle in here, see what comes through. I did see one deer coming in. Deer movement on camera wasn't as good last night. I got 60 pictures uh, Saturday night and only 20 pictures Sunday, so deer movement wasn't quite as good. But anyway, we're hoping that a doe or a buck or a doe comes through with a buck in tow and if he's a shooter, we might take him. If not, I got doe tags, so y'all stay tuned. y'all seen that deer come across the top it crossed the road I think it was a doe and I do have a doe tag but it was just seemed odd to me that it was by itself there was no buck with it and uh, I don't know you know I just I, I chose not to shoot pretty long shot anyway but I just had a little button buck come in behind me a few minutes ago I couldn't get the camera turned around. He come running in. Scared me to death. But anyway, Sarah has shot at a buck. Uh, she's used her muzzleloader this morning. I was hoping she'd take her creed more, but she went ahead and took the muzzleloader because she's had such good luck with it. She shot him, and he didn't go far, and he just stood there. She reloaded, and I'm not sure what happened because I'm about a thousand yards from her. And I can tell you the first shot was a muzzleloader shot. The second shot sounded like a 22. So I'm not really sure if she got it loaded all the way or if something went wrong. I don't know. But anyway, she's reloaded with the third shot. She can't see him. There's some thick green stuff, but she can hear like a uh, a wheezing or a gurgle every once in a while. Fingers crossed. She, that's him. He's not going far. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes, and I'm probably gonna call this hunt, get down, and see if I can get up around on the other side and get an eye on this deer and maybe help her put it down. That's the only thing I know to do. It's, uh, you know, not knowing the good thing is he's kind of headed to an open field. Unless he sneaks around some way or another, I don't know how he's going to get back there. And she stood there while she shot twice and reloaded a third time. So fingers crossed. Maybe we can get him. I'll turn the camera back on if I go to go after him.
Those three does cross the road once a year.
shouldn't have blew. She shouldn't have blew. comes in here and I'm gonna treat these deer so y'all stay tuned we gotta check on Sarah too make sure everything's good on her That's the one that double back flipped. Oh. Shot her up there. Yeah. Let's take her down here. This was an exciting morning. We have, we've been worried to death about seeing deer or, or does. And all of a sudden, I don't know what's happened, but we've been seeing does, getting a ton of does on trail cam. But these are mature long nose does, both of them. I mean, they are, they are really good does. I am so tickled to have two big does as my last tag, so. We didn't, uh, Sarah, we didn't find Sarah's. We went over and looked. Uh, he was, I uh, think it might've been a leg hit. She was using muzzleloader. So she's gonna jump on the creed more and, uh, We'll see what happens, but uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, I've got one tag left, buck tag, but the rest of the crew's got a bunch of tags, so we're gonna try to fill some tags and get some more episodes coming to you. We really appreciate y'all watching. That We just hit 6,300 subscribers. Uh, it's awesome, we're blessed, and I wanna thank each and every one of you for subscribing, liking, and, uh, and sharing. So if you like what we're doing, please subscribe and like. And as always, God bless. We'll see you on the next video. See ya. Double down with it. All right. I got two does today. So we're going to see if we can pull two does up with the SB Woodwell winch. Both of these does are easily 100 pounds. I mean, they got to be over 100. So I'm going to run the winch down, lap it around, loop it around both deer, and we're going to winch it up. Let me know when you're going. I'm going. In. Get my handy dandy remote.
the carry out. <laughs> That right there, it's 250 pounds easy, a deer. That just shows you how handy Scott Brooks' winch is. This, it's got the wireless remote. The new ones have the synthetic uh, rope on them. No more cutting your hands up with the, with the cable. But it just loaded two does, pulled them over carry all, and into the bed. So go check out uh, Scott Brooks' website, the SB Wood and Whale Bed Winches and uh, see if he's got one to fit yours currently. He's got Can-Am, um, Honda, Polaris, and we've put one on the Hyson. So, like I said, check them both out. And don't forget to check out Pine Life 2022. We own them. Your blow. What you think about that? Yeah. All right. What is it, dog? You got your super dog cape on. Watch out. There they come. Watch out. There they come. Don't think about that, Otis. Huh?